Oh, hello, and welcome to the Arkansas Times Unmentionables, a show where we dive into the more salacious bits of Southern history. We're going to kick things off with the mid-70s controversy surrounding Fanny Fox, a woman whose name I am, believe it or not, pronouncing correctly, and her affair with an Arkansas congressman, often referred to as the most powerful man in Washington, Wilbur Mills. Mills, a Kensett native, served in Congress from 1939 until 1977. The chairman of the powerful House Ways and Means Committee, he was the architect of the legislation that would eventually become Medicare, as well as important measures on interstate highways and Social Security. He also reportedly had a fondness for strip clubs. It was during one of his many outings that he met and became familiar with Fanny Fox, born Annabel Bontestea and billed as the Argentine firecracker. So they hit it off, and Mills kept coming to see her, often spending lavishly at the clubs for which she worked. Eventually, Fox, age 38, and Mills, age 65, and married, became neighbors in the same apartment complex and spent increasingly more time together. According to Fox's book, the pair often argued loudly and in public, but that didn't become national news until the night of one of the craziest traffic stops ever. To set the scene, Mills is drunk and bleeding from his face, possibly from an altercation with Fox, before a policeman pulls him over on a bridge over the Tidal Basin in Washington. Now, I'd tell you what happened next, but Fanny really does say it best in her book. <clears throat> Wilbur ordered me to stay in the car, but I was very defiant, and I would not. Then Wilbur started to get out, and I told him to stay in the car, but he would not, and the yelling started all over again. There were lights glaring on us from the uniformed police flashlights and headlights and the television cameramen. Uppermost in my mind when I saw this activity was that I had gone too far this time. I had lost him, and I just had to get away. So I dashed over to the stone parapet near the bridge over the tidal basin, and I dove in head first. She jumped off a bridge. Despite the controversy, Mills' career wasn't ruined. He survived a re-election challenge in 1974, but soon thereafter made the unwise decision to appear in public alongside Fox at a burlesque house in Boston. This proved too much to overcome, forcing Mills to resign as head of the Ways and Means Committee. The events hardly hurt Fox's career, however. They allowed her to write her book and to change her stage name from the Argentine firecracker to the Tidal Basin bombshell. So there it is, our first episode. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to learn more, you can check out the book, or you can go online for a ton of more information about the scandal. There's also some very painful footage of the two of them appearing in public together. All I'm trying to do is to launch a career. Don't you think this looks bad for you personally as a married uh, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, though? My wife's in on it. Till next time, folks. Yeah.